Welcome back everybody. Today I'm just going to show you the progress of my racetrack concept. Basically this is a start after wipeout. You'll find a behind the scenes and construction video with the full audio on channel B. So before, be sure to go and check that out. So like an alternate version of this episode. So I've stripped the audio and I'm going to be doing a commentary. This is basically a little racetrack that uh, we built a couple of weeks back. Uh, the idea is you can't have any power recharges on your actual racer and you can see there's power supply beams on the finish line and effectively what we're doing is just racing around here I've got an alt sitting on my uh, sitting in the seat just for effect and um, <laughs> I'm attempting to race the track we found that um, you get about three four laps out of the fuel you know just with standard 20,000 that's actually getting upped in the new build so this is going to work out much better and I've got a new racetrack which I've constructed to put together a video to show you soon. But as you can see, it really works. Uh, we actually docked this to a planet to get the gravity. Uh, because obviously having gravity on your uh, racetrack just works a little bit better. We also want to put some walls on the inside edge. Um, if you see my ship just suddenly go dead, it's because I ran out of juice. We were testing to see how many laps you could do on just the 20,000 that you get in the core. Um, and obviously, oh, yeah, there we go, it's dead. So you refill by just quickly slinging on a few uh, power blocks, let it recharge. Or we have a pit, a pit bot, which we use to use power supply beams. So, <laughs> and there we go, I ran out again. So as you can say, we're all getting together and testing this out. So the idea is no power generation on the actual racer. And then somebody can sit in the ship and just turn on those power supply beams. One zap is enough to refill the ship. So, um, like I say, the next track has a pit lane uh, and a pit bot for when we're on planets. <clears throat> and I've run out again, look. It just sort of goes a bit dead. It's quite cool. Um, but also we'll allow the use of uh, weapons in the uh, when we finish this little mini game. So we're taking that star made racing to the next level, I guess, or trying to improve it or add something to it. But the uh, addition of having to manage your own power supply certainly adds something to it. Um, and yeah, it's just an interesting concept. You've got to have a pit, a pit strategy. <laughs> People can suddenly run out of juice and crash. It's pretty cool. But um, effectively, I just chuck a couple blocks on the back if I need to recharge it and these things are deliberately overpowered it's not quite the same thrust ratio that you'd be using on Saber's planet um, but oh god see I'm derping around big time see with the gravity you don't get as much overthrust <laughs> what am I doing but yeah uh, the speed build for this particular ship is available like I say on channel B it's at the beginning of the original audio version so you should be able to check that out. So there you go, there's my cheap power reactor. As you can see, I'm demoing that there. Um, and there's even a little weapons computer on the back for pews. So, I think we're just about through this really. I mean, there's going to be a couple more shots of um, us sort of racing around the track and stuff. And at the very, very end, I'll be demoing the concept which I'm using to build the next track. It's in the middle there, that purple and black thing above the red box. So yeah, uh, I'm going to leave it there and let you enjoy the remainder of the video. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and um, enjoy the rest of the race clips from our testing footage. Like I say, no power on these races. That's the rules.